Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Uh, you've probably heard of VLC Media Player. It's uh, available at videoland.org. It's free. Uh, it's available for Windows and Windows on ARM and Mac OS, iOS, Android, Linux, pretty much everything. It's free. You download it, and it can play pretty much any video or audio file that you throw at it. Now, beginning with version 3.0.0 of VLC, uh, it fully supported hardware decoding, which meant that you're supposed to be able to actually play Ultra HD 4K resolution video files, right? The problem is that in many cases, uh, people are coming to me and they're saying, I got VLC and I'm trying to like watch this 4K movie and it's all stuttery and slow. So the question is, how do you actually make VLC work with hardware acceleration and actually play your high-res movies smoothly? Okay, so here we have the movie 1917 in VLC Media Player, and I've started playing it, and it's kind of stuttery. So what do I do to fix it? Well, what you're going to do is go to the Tools menu here, click on Preferences, and the first thing you're going to do is go to the Input Codex tab. Now, for some reason, especially if you've had VLC Media Player for a really long time, uh, this Hardware Accelerated Decoding, it should default to Automatic, but it doesn't. It's usually Direct3D11 video acceleration. That's bad, so we want to change that to automatic. Then we want to go over into the video tab. Now, most likely under the uh, display output setting here, this is going to be automatic. In some cases, that will work. If you have input, codex is automatic, and video is automatic, you'll be able to play it on your laptop and you're fine. But on some older laptops, you're going to need to change this output setting. And you notice here, again, you have Direct3D11, blah, blah, blah. There's all kinds of choices here. Most likely, the one you're going to want is OpenGL Video Output for Windows. So you click that, and then you're going to click Save, and then you're going to have to restart VLC Media Player. After you've restarted, you can try to, to press Play again, and you'll notice that the video is super smooth, even though this is a 2160p or a 4K video file. It's super, super smooth, and in fact, you can do Control-Alt-Delete, click on Task Manager, click the More Details button, and you'll see here you have VLC Media Player. The CPU usage is very low, and also in the GPU column, it's actually using the GPU acceleration to decode the video, as it says right here, GPU Zero Video Decode. And of course, these both these numbers should be relatively small, relatively low CPU usage and GPU usage, so... The point here is you can actually look at the task manager and make sure that it's using GPU decoding by looking at these percentages there. And that's pretty much it. There you go. You've got uh, Zippy, Zippy 4K and VLC Media Player. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, just a few little quick notes. If you have a very old computer, you may be in a bit of trouble. You can try to fuss with the settings. Uh, generally, OpenGL is the best. Uh, if your computer is older, like say you're watching a 4K movie on an older laptop that's maybe six, seven, eight years old, um, you may still have pretty high CPU usage and GPU usage. For example, on one laptop that I tried this on, it was an old HP ProBook 450G something or other. Uh, before I changed the VLC settings, it, both of the options were on automatic and the CPU usage was at like 90% and the cooling fans were running like crazy, and the video was super laggy. When I switched the, the output setting to OpenGL, the CPU usage dropped to about 60% on average, and it started using the GPU a bit, and uh, the laptop was obviously a lot quieter, so you can actually watch a high-res movie on it uh, in relative peace, and more importantly, the video was uh, buttery smooth. So... Um, yeah, if you have a modern machine, you can probably just go with the default automatic settings. If you have an older one, you'll definitely want to play with them and uh, possibly even pick some other options. One final thing, uh, if you try all this and it doesn't work, then what you need to do is uh, go into your device manager and possibly update your graphics card drivers. Now that sounds kind of complicated, but uh, in most cases, you just go to the manufacturer's website. You know, if you have like a Dell laptop, we'll go to the Dell website, search for your model number. Uh, most computers have, you know, built-in uh, driver update software. Just let it run that instead, let it do its thing, and that'll get the latest and greatest drivers, and you're off and running. Then you can try the VLC settings again, and uh, probably that will do the trick. So 
there you go. Now you can watch even 4K movies in VLC, even on an older machine. For more techie tips, see Scotty's Tech.info, or you can see Scotty's Tech.info and click Hire Me. If you're having a problem that you can't quite solve, I actually have uh, three different tiers of service, the first of which is free. You simply fill out the form below, uh, you tell me what your problem is, and if I can fix it, which I usually can with an email, uh, I will write back to you as soon as possible and hopefully get you sorted out. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.